I'm still shooting pictures. We're in Salvador right now. This is the view from my home. It's a very cloudy day, but with a telelens, you can still see a lot of stuff in the streets. So I'm shooting street photography from above. I've shown you a project last time. It was similar to this. Welcome to making pictures. Welcome back. We're here to watch pictures. The idea of this show is to watch pictures with you and try to find some projects that can get you inspired to do your own photography, your own projects. Let's jump into it. The first project that I want to talk to you about is amazing. This project is from San Gabe. He's a photographer based in Los Angeles. And basically a few days ago, it was his birthday and he could not gather his community, his close friends, his family. So he decided to do a photography project where he would shoot every one of his guests from their home behind windows. And I hope you like it. It's something pretty easy to do. This is the first one. Happy birthday, Sam. He got dressed. You can see the photographer in the reflection. Second one. Oh, this is cool. It's not the best one, I think. This one is intense. I like this look. And the way it's composed is really subtle. That's far away. I guess he, he used a fixed lens, huh? And always used the environment as it presented to him. So you don't have to zoom and to use all the space to get a good portrait. Because it's in a project, this picture alone would probably not work. But in the project, it's perfect. Oh, this one is funny. Yeah, portrait from the garden. And this guy is half naked. Oh, maybe totally naked. I like this one. Very simple. And most of the time, he puts himself out of the reflection. What a beautifully crafted project. It was published in the Esquire website. I will link all of the articles, all of the profiles from Instagram from the photographers I'm mentioning so you can go check them out and follow them you know it's uh, you can follow me and subscribe and give a like to this video the second project I wanted to show you today is simply this is this is amazing it, it blows my mind every time on paper it's probably the simplest project but it is hard w one of the most difficult thing I find myself doing in photography is self-portrait. I'm bad at it. And main reason is I, I'm not comfortable with it. I'm, I'm, I have a problem with this. I should work on this actually. So basically, Richie is projecting a movie inside his bathroom, on, on the wall of his bathroom, and he's putting himself into the movie. And this, the result is simply blowing my mind. This is this is great. This is this should get prized. <laughs> this should get prized. This is an amazing project. It's fun to watch. It's interesting, compelling. It's well crafted. This is a lot of work. And uh, well, that's why I love photography. It's, I love doing pictures and I love watching pictures. Thank you, Richie, for this project. This is truly amazing. Let's look into it. You can see here the last picture he posted. This is Alien, of course. If you like Taxi Driver and Scorsese, well, this will talk to you, of course. Beautiful self-portrait using cinema and using Scorsese. This one, my God, The Big Lebowski. I simply love this scene. I adore this movie. I've watched this movie like hundred times. This is one of my favorite movies from the Coen Brothers. This is very funny. If you know the movie, of course, one of the funniest one from this project is Top Gun. The new Top Gun is supposed to go out in a few months. I don't know if it's postponed, but this one, look at this with this, oh, it's not even a plain um, stick. This is uh, from his bathroom, probably inside his uh, bathtub. What a funny picture. Well done, Richie. This is, this is brilliant. Psycho is that in English? Psychose in French. With the knife and the scene. Wow, this is. You don't see the face of Richie in this one. This is brilliant. Well, this is a wonderful project. I hope Richie continues 
This is wonderful. Thank you, Richie, for doing this. And I hope you continue. This is an amazing project. This is 10 out of 10. Next picture I wanted to show you today are the ones from healthcare workers spearheading the Philippines fight against coronavirus. You can read that. I don't know when I'm reading this. Let's look at the pictures. I will link if you want to go check the work of uh, Martin San Diego, who did the picture on this piece for the Washington Post. I'm not going to comment on any of the pictures because the subject is what it is. This is very intense. I'm surprised they don't all have masks. I guess this is normal. This is the one from the cover. Wow. Incredible pictures from Martin San Diego. Thank you for this. This one, this one is a project. I, I don't know where to put my mind on this. This is, I don't know if it's insane, if it's stupid, or if it's just ridiculous, but I don't like it. And it got a lot of traction on the internet, a lot of buzz for those pictures. They were shot before the coronavirus lockdown and crisis. This is insane. <laughs> Why would you do that? I mean, to your kids? So this is the story. A photographer with a close friend, they, they got some love with a newborn photo shoot where they set up the photo shoot with six babies, a newborn. They, they're, like, they're like very young. They, just, they don't have a month, those babies. And they set up a Central Perk from France a studio. So the props, everything, um, yeah, everything is from France, so you got reference everywhere. Mandy Penn is the photographer. So here's the website if you want to check out. She's doing weddings and newborns. Ah. So this is it. Could we be any cuter? This is awkward. I don't want to start on this. Oof. This is awkward. Why would you do this to your kids? They're all sleeping, they all look, you just see the head. And this is, I have a kid who is one year old and my God, I pray I never do something like this. Frankie say relax, I love friends. I've watched the series a number of times. I, oh my God, is that the leather pants from and Paiva, this must be 7-7, seven, seven, so this is Monica. Everything, the turkey, reference, 7 is, is like, this is sexual reference. Why would you put a kid in this? This is not okay. This is not okay for kids. This is not okay for the parents. Ugh, wants me, Ugh, I want to cue. I'm not very good with advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? So this is Chandler. Okay, and this is the behind the scene, because yeah, the kids did not go there by themselves. Okay, well, the good thing is they were sleeping, but they're all over the internet. I put my kid on the internet, so I'm guilty. Thank you for this and see you in the next one.